they got engaged and Matt had planned this really beautiful evening for them at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. The Beverly Hills Hotel is like very, very like bougie old Hollywood, like a lot of fun celebrity sightings. And the polo lounge in it is just like oh. so, so bougie. And so we went to the polo lounge for some drinks to celebrate. Matt and Patricia, mm-hmm. cheers to them, mm-hmm. of course. We're waiting outside to get our table. And I see this man that I'm like, oh my God, that is the celebrity. And people are taking pictures with him. And all of a sudden I realize who I think it is. Long, scraggly brown hair. I go, oh my God, that is Trisha Paytas' husband. <laughs> that is Moses Hackman Paytas. Right. The one and only. People are taking pictures with him. And I'm like, wow, like, I can't believe like Trish and Malibu Barbie are inside sipping on a dirty martine. And everyone's asking Moses for pictures. And I was about to head up. Turns out, not Moses. Keanu Reeves. And I was like, oh, Easy. damn. Easy <laughs> honestly, honestly, damn. So that was big boy. That was cool, but I don't like have a huge attachment to Keanu. So yeah. It's just more of just like, okay, very cool. Yeah. Now walk in and I hear this grating voice. Oh. And it's the singing, someone's singing. Up. There's like a, you know, like a jazzy crooner that usually sings at sure. the polo lounge. And there's like a voice accompanying him that's like, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. That was that was crazy to see. Oh my And apparently God. I've learned. So Jimmy stood up there just singing for God knows why right. for a very long time. He was like blackout, blackout drunk, drunk, which I've heard about Jimmy F. He just like tempts to go places, drink a lot, and then kind of usurp the environment. Hey, let's not knock that till we try. <laughs> no, not a bad thing I'm at all. I'm pretty sure Jimmy and I have that in common. <laughs> I know. I really think you and Jimmy would be good friends. That's but that was... To hear, but okay. That was so... I mean, he seemed so nice. He was going around to each table, making himself at home. (laughs) Right. He didn't come to our table. But yeah, he was singing and that was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. By the way, he's looking more and more dead behind his eyes as the day goes on. Glazed to the nines. Yeah, to the nines. To the nines. So that was just so fascinating. And I That's like like the same thing as seeing a wild bison. I posted on my Instagram story and said congrats to the live band. Yeah. And it was just a picture of Jimmy Fallon singing. Yeah, sure. And everyone was like, oh my God, that's so weird. That looks like Jimmy Fallon. And I was like, that's why I posted it. Like, that's Jimmy Fallon. Right. But it looked like a wax figure of Jimmy Fallon. Like, he... he sickly he's on unfortunately his, yeah and then i least. saw on you know just like once you say something everything is gonna like that's gonna be the only thing on your for you page on tiktok my whole for you page was just like different jimmy fallon sightings like of him just like blackout drunk singing at different restaurants no <laughs> harm no foul you know what's funny is like i even told when they when our team like a long time ago asked us like what we want to do i was like you i think i want to like <laughs> yes yeah 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 <laughs> and I, I wasn't even talking about the talk show i was talking about getting drunk in random places yeah no i mean as if he's happy just and kidding. healthy yeah he's not he's, he's not want, he's being he was being i don't so know nice. we don't know if he's either of those yeah we don't know. At but the end of the day, we don't know. He's still, he he he's looks like still he was, at the end of the day, he looked like he was having a blast. That's awesome. So if he's happy and everyone in his life that's affected by him <laughs> immediately is happy, awesome. I never want to be like as famous as he is. I, he because everyone I, was just in his face taking pictures, flash on. Wait, you can't even take photos of Beverly Hills Hotel. That's like a big thing. I mean, I, I that's, don't. That's why a bunch of people, famous people, go there is because paparazzi can't go to. The Beverly Hills Hotel. Well, all the TikToks that I was seeing of Jimmy Fallon, a lot of them were from the polo lounge. So Interesting. I don't know if that's still a rule. Like the wait staff were doing it as well. So I don't know. Um, like maybe it's because we're not at paparazzi. The maybe. I don't know. But yeah. I don't really know. So that. that was one thing. And then another thing I did this weekend was fully like rebranded my whole personality to sports. There's this sports bar close to my house, mm-hmm. which is just like the most amazing place on earth it's like hogwarts if i could think of one way to describe the sports bar you know i love that sports yeah bar. it is amazing and i discovered this weekend that they have a pac-man machine connor when i tell you i was at that pac-man machine from 12 13 hours. p.m to 2 a.m that's gonna go ahead and be 14, 14. Okay. hours i had the time of my life to not get anywhere near breaking the high were score but i did spend you, 50 dollars so were you playing it the whole time 
I went to an arcade this yes. weekend. That's so weird. Saturday night. In Catalina Island? Yeah, they have Whoa. an arcade. You're going to get carpal tunnel, Missy. I have it, I uh, think. And then I obviously had to order the little pa- Miss Pac-Man, Mrs. Sure. Mrs. Pac-Man, yeah. on Amazon. So now I have this like little Game Boy device that I... Yes, that's my that's game. Fun. That's my gaming device, and the joystick doesn't ride as smoothly right. on the gaming device. Get some WD. Maybe you need a full size m- machine. Well, the good news is that Matt, as an engagement present to me, has a Pac-Man machine that's an in between of the little Game Boy device and the one at the bar. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like one that you would keep on a desk, and it oh, has nice. like the little like joystick. Cool. So he's gonna give that to me for his engagement. That's nice. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be better at I've that. I've always said, like, you have two incomes. Get me a gift. Me? No, no. When people get married and they're oh. like, here's my registry, it's like, why would I get you a gift? You just signed up for yeah. two two household income. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm coming to your wedding. Like, you get me something. Maybe all the money they're spending on the wedding is really for you, if you look at it that way. I believe it when I see it. Anyway, I've got my... I better I better go Jimmy Fallon mode at your wedding Yeah. if, if I'm getting you a toaster. Yeah. I, oh my God, I know what I'm going to get everyone for their wedding. Uh, Pac-Man. Okay. I, my device is in my fanny pack and I'm, I'm itching, but it's all about practicing self-control. It is. Kind of like Jimmy. Oh yes, I think that's Ugh. what my weekend was. I'm training myself to like beer. Okay. One pineapple cider at a time. It's going badly. Yeah. It tastes like soap. Beer is what I imagine could people also be... taste when they don't like cilantro. It tastes like soapy water and not the good kind well, of Johnson & Johnson, like bad soap, like antibacterial bar is, soap. That sports bar that you're speaking of is not like A1 on cleaning their no, cups. any beer. Any beer. Okay. The beer that we had at the Dodgers game too. Like I'm trying so hard. Oh. Mm, yeah. Maybe you have a, a long COVID. No, I thought beer, I do, yeah. by the way, but I thought beer tasted like soap before I had COVID. I don't know. We'll work on it. Yeah, Pal- I'm trying. Palettes change. It's a, yeah, it's about training. Palettes change, and that's why today's episode is brought to you by First Leaf. <laughs> so true. Thank you, Con. I want to follow up really quickly. Last week, you were supposed to get a dog. Yeah. Do you have a dog? I moved forward with not having a dog right now. Can I ask why? Yeah, I was going to pick up this dog, and it was an adoption situation, and <clears throat> I went to go get him, and then I'm on my way there, and like randomly out of nowhere, I'm like, well, what about studying abroad? And like, I'm an adult, so I'm no longer like taking semesters to study abroad uh-huh. because I'm, n- I'm not in school. But I'm like, you'll never be able to do this. You'll never be able to do that. And then I started thinking about S- Sonny was his name, a Catahoula, gorgeous Aww, dog. Oh, Sonny. And I'm, he's alive and well, but. You don't know that. It, so, okay. So I go, I go to pick him up and I'm like on my way there. And then I start thinking like. This dog's, you know, a year and a half. Like, if this dog lives, God forbid, a long, healthy life, I'm going to be almost 40 when he passes. And then that sent me into a natural spiral of, like, holy shit, like, I can't do this right now. Um, So I went ahead and turned around. What's crazy is you're going to turn 40 regardless of if you had chosen to give Sonny a second chance at life or not. Is this like a, are you, what is this? Oh, it's a podcast. I called.